Hello everybody. Welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Shubhashish Bandhapadhyay, Associate Professor of Humanities and Social Sciences at Indian Institute of Engineering, Science and Technology, Shippur. Today, I will deal with the issue of computer application and qualitative analysis. This is part of the research methodology module. To start with, we may say that all research in the final analysis is qualitative research, either for the operational reason or for the issues involved, but finally to bring in changes in the process of life. So quality is a ubiquitous term here without any kind of limit. And also, every research project is essentially aiming at some form of value addition to the knowledge domain of human society and at the same time contribute to the enhanced understanding of certain aspect of nature. So, be it nature, be it nurture, quality is an essence of human configuration and adventure for knowledge. Insights from qualitative research are having a transformative effect on how we understand and manage our world. A qualitative way of knowing the world can change how we hear and see others and how we reflect on our own participation in the world around ourselves. So it is just not about an individual or a group. It's a big collective which is looking for a qualitative shift and even within the quantitative increase or decrease, we can see the trails of quality flourishing everywhere and changing our perception, perspective and insights. So research finally is a qualitative venture. This particular module, Computer Application in Qualitative Research, would introduce the learner to the use of computer application in qualitative data analysis. The particular process of handling qualitative data through machine interface would pave the way for development of sophisticated procedure in the regeneration of new software with enhanced analytical sense and ease of use. That means we are trying here to use the machine interface as a process where we can interpret, analyze and compute the quality of a data in a new way, which is not simply quantitative, but also help us to understand the dynamics of the quality within quality in a new way. The computer assisted qualitative data analysis software or CADQAS is a kind of performer which helps in helps in this analysis. In the 1990s, non-numerical unstructured data indexing, sanctioning and theorizing or simply speaking nude star east or nudist become very popular. However, uh, relatively new entrants in the field are known as in vivo, uh, at last tie or QDA uh, mirror. All these things are latest development in the area of qualitative computational tool. The based known programs allow the researcher to code text in the computer and retrieve the coded data. Therefore, coding 
the qualitative data helps us in making qualitative assessment of the data without little or no reference to numerical settings. In this way, we may start, continue and end qualitative analysis in a qualitative matrix without disturbing the basic process of uh, social research and its objective. Despite all this development, there is serious concern about the use of computer software for qualitative data analysis. Hayes Weber in 1995 has argued that use of computers or rather overuse of computer for analysis of qualitative data will actually may result in qualitative research being colonized by the reliability and validity criteria which we normally use for quantitative apparatus. Weaver and Atkinson feel that the narrowness of the flow of interview in a qualitative system would actually reflected in the transcripts and events recorded in field notes may be lost if fragmentation of textual material is done in the coding and retrieving process of data structure. That narrowness is not about the shallowness of a research. It is about the qualitative focus on which we should concentrate. Computer applications or CA is a qualitative research in qualitative research tries to fulfill the twin objective of scientific research. One, to enhance the objectivity in the formulation of research tools. Two, to increase the analytical girth of the qualitative researcher without much bothering for developing a standardized platform which is amenable to numerical analysis and response. Therefore, it is important to understand that we are using computer to regenerate and to reinvigorate the quality of the research without having a reference point of straight quantification. These approaches helps us in maneuvering the entire research favorably without disturbing the ethnomethodological or embedded nature within a qualitative matrix. In vivo, for example, can aid social scientists in analyzing data generated by interviews, surveys, field notes, web pages, and audiovisual, multimedia, and journal articles. In vivo analytics is a multi method tool that does not favor any specific research technique over the other. That means it shows certain amount of robustness while conducting the research process and handling the regenerated data from the field. In vivo can talk meaningfully to arrange, regulate and explore the findings of patterns in one's data, but it cannot really regulate your analytical experience with too much of quantification or the necessary issue of re-experimentation is still absent there. It is a kind of problem which computer scientists may help us to overcome in future. But everywhere the issue starts with generation of concepts, converting them into variable, dependent and independent connecting the variables into conjectured proposition, put the proposition into testing of hypothesis. Once the hypothesis is accepted, you refer it back to the grounded theoretical scheme. So 
theory is the epitome and it helps us in maintaining the qualitative flow from ground to abstract orientation of knowledge. In this way, we can always go on contributing in qualitative research in a qualitative manner. So many times a field worker felt, field worker felt that it is almost unnecessary to bring in numbers to help in analysis. To replace that overemphasis on numerical understanding, qualitative research through qualitative tools and software may be of some help. But there are certain limitations within the qualitative research apparatus. For example, the issue of subjectivity. We cannot really generate any guarantee that the qualitative research tools are devoid of the interpretation generated by the developer of the computational language. Also, it is difficult to replicate in different situations. The problem of associatedness and generalization remains in pure qualitative research. That means all of this may boil down to the lack of transparency and too much of subjectivity within the approach. Having or not having a computer is not the issue. The issue is to use computer meaningfully for qualitative data generation. In the field, you collect data from people. The data in itself can be transformed into a qualitative understanding and a quantitative understanding. This qualitative and quantitative understanding can therefore conjoin together to help us in generating exploratory hypothesis based analysis and explanatory theoretical paradigm. This triangulation or convergence of many methods together can work a magic, but complete absence of quantification or complete rejections of quality is not going to help the purpose of the sociological research. We need a kind of a prudent blend between the portions of quantity and quality together so that the meaningfulness of the research and the data structure remain meaningful to a cross section of the user and population. Qualitative data is thick in detail and description. In this particular domain, data often is in a state of narrative format. Data often collected by observation, document reviews, open in an interview. That means there are a lot of experience, counter experience, intuitiveness and counter intuitiveness involved in the process of this data generation. Analysis in qualitative study often emphasizes understanding phenomena in a way that they exist not following predetermined or preconceived hypothesis. Of course, this may generate hypothesis in the due process of time and the hypothesis is only amenable to till now quantitative testing. So the quality can bridge the quantity quality gap and can make it a continuum. To wrap up these things we may say that in a qualitative study while using computer think about analysis early. Start with a broad spectrum of a plan. Initiate a coding process. Learn the coding technique. Enter them into a text and clean the previous data from disturbance. Then analyze the data in a meaningful way. Connect the analysis with available theory and a critique of the theory for future purpose. Interpret the analysis in a way so that the interpretation can be generalized, can be replicated and can be reverberated for further 
qualification, testing, and validity. Reflect on the entire scheme, like what did we learn from the experience? What conclusion can we draw from these things? What are our recommendations to address the problematics? And lastly, but not least, what are the limitations of the analysis and why? All these things may boil down to the basic philosophical understanding or epistemological source of the questioning, what is it, how is it, and why is it? This is important because without having this qualitative reference, we cannot even start a quantitative journey. However, we can ensure validity in qualitative analysis too. How we can do this? We can try to be systematic. Systematic means you have to be organized, move with a pre-planning process and be sure about your objective and tools of study. You can also use multiple raters or grading system so that you can put check on possible subjective or bias, subjectivity or bias that may be infiltrating into your parameters of understanding. It is also important to attend to a context. That means keep track of who said what. Maintaining a diary and keeping a tag on that continuity in time and situation would, is going to help you to attend to the context. There is also a possibility to account for outlying and surprising statement. So disagreement may occur, conflict in the apparatus may surface. All these things can still be handled if you have an additive response to the sequence, a feeling of the situation and a solid grounding in the theoretical perspective you are pursuing while trying to analyze the data qualitatively. Till now, the best possible way it is important to go on for a triangulation or multi-method approach. Here, one method is being complemented with two other method at least. Therefore, any incompleteness in one method will be substituted and replenished by the contribution of other method. In this way, a symbiotic paradigm may develop. I can give an example. For example, one of the sophisticated management tool in quantitative analysis is Six Sigma. The Six Sigma level of analysis ensure that in a normal curve on the plus and the minus side, there is Six Sigma level of distribution with various amount of gradation. In a very specific three sigma level, the distribution goes like 34.1 on the plus one sigma and minus one sigma, then 13.6 on the plus two and minus two sigma, then 2.1% of distribution on the uh, plus three sigma level and minus three sigma level and 0.1%. So the total percentage available within the system is that around 99.8% of the coverage of the area. And that if you transform into a qualitative understanding, you will get that 3.4 DPMO or 3.4 defect per million outcome is possible. But all this sophisticated Six Sigma analysis doing what? It is trying to ensure the quality of the product, quality of the process, quality of the ambience, quality of the work are ensured. So it's a comprehensive total quality based benchmarking and statistical quality control apparatus. So you can easily see that all the measures of qualitative analysis is the final outcome of any serious research venture. As we proceed along the path, the quantity quality dichotomy would gradually become blurred and quality would contribute 
to enhance the quantity and quantity in turn will supplement the quality. In conclusion, we may say that though it's a pretty nascent state or early stage of development, there are possibility of future software programs where computer, especially with the help of machine learning and artificial intelligence can contribute in the development of new area of qualitative analysis with qualitative tools. These qualitative tools are actually applying a very coded, sophisticated mathematical design without putting any fear in the mind of the users. But keep in mind, the last word is the efficiency of the researcher, the knowledge base of the research setting, and the research design you are trying to pursue with the set of objective in mind. A strong connections with the ground or the field, a strong understanding of the theory cannot replace the quantification, but the quantification is only a tool, a supplementary tool to the body of human knowledge and understanding of the very complex socio-cultural, economic, psychological and spatial and temporal dynamics. For example, the quality of life and quality of working life, all these things are heavily dependent on certain numerical attributes. For example, air quality, the presence of the rate of nitrosis or the oxides of sulfurs are important to understand the quality of air. This quality of air can be analyzed in a gas analyzer and can help us to understand the amount of toxicity or neutrality present in the air. Good air quality is going to enhance the quality of the life. Quality of individual life enhance the quality of the immediate group within family, peer group or neighborhood. The quality enhancement of peer group or family or neighborhood finally contribute in the quality enhancement of the community and then state, the region and the nation. So the quality analysis of air, water, food contribute immensely with the help of quantification. So it is important that we shouldn't be rigid or shouldn't live in watertight compartment for understanding the quality of social condition or trying to be fearful about the quantification involved in it. Just like that, quality of wage is determined by many times wrongly only at the level of income. But the quality of work is also environment dependent, peer group interaction dependent, culture dependent and even language dependent. So if somebody is easy in English, you can contribute to his understanding of Hindi or Bangla or Telugu or Punjabi. But this multitude of exposure to the language would finally enhance his understanding of the work, working group process. A single language is a monolithic structure. Understanding of multiple language, spread of multi multiple language, both natural and machine can enhance the possibility of finally the working process. So in this way, the quality and the quantity is no two different process. The quality remains within the quantity and the quantity contributes in the development of the quality. This goes a long way to enhance the understanding of sociological perspective within divergent fields of group of people where a new cultural attributes of cyberspace and virtual reality is crisscrossing the psyche, the culture, the pattern of urban and rural livelihood. The community is becoming open, but the community is also becoming closed behind doors. The perspective of quality research is likely to differ, so also the quantity involved in it. Resources normally measured in terms of the quantity, but the quality of the resources 
is much more important than quantity. One ounce of water when you are thirsty is much more important than having a 24 carat of diamond in hand. Water cannot be replaced with a precious stone. And precious stone, when you were, can finally drop into a piece of water and get lost. So it's better to think beyond the dichotomy of quantity quality, rather try to converge them together, have a comprehensive understanding and a holistic appreciation of the complex social reality. Thank you very much.